Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In today's video, we'll take a look at creating a generic information dialog pop-up that will appear when an information icon is selected on the screen. When you select each icon, it will display a different message to the user um, so that you can repurpose it um, across your screen numerous times. So you don't have to copy and paste those components each time you need a dialog. So the first thing we're going to do is add the information icons to the screen. And so we're going to add it to three locations. So what I'm going to do is search for information. And I could drag and drop it onto the screen here. And you want to adjust the size. So I would say like, um, you know, 20 by 20 is a good size. And I'm going to put it in a, couple, a few locations here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it by the owner. And I'm going to paste it and display it by the add button as well. So we have three locations where the user can click the information icon and it will show the information dialog uh, with details related to this area of the screen. So once those have been added, what we will do is start to build the dialogue. And that requires three components. So it's the rectangles as the backdrop, the, a label, and also a button to close it down. So here we'll search for the rectangle and we'll size it relatively big because it just depends on the text involved there. Um, and one thing I like to do here is have a border that's, you know, gray, you know, whether, whatever your color scheme is and have a background that's easy to read. So it will be white. So there's the background here. And then what we will do is add a label and we will size it accordingly. So we'll size it to around here and we'll center the text and we'll put it as semi bold. Okay. And we'll probably increase the text font as well to about 15. And then we'll add a close button just below here. So I'll add a button here and it's all lined up nicely. And we'll just change around the size. So let's say 100 by 30 roughly. And we'll make the text a little bit smaller here. So we'll just say like 13 and we'll say close. And let's readjust the size, the where it should be located. So we'll just have it centered. And so we have the framework of the dialogue in place. So one thing um, we can always do is update our you know, labels. Um, so we'll just do that very quickly here. And lastly, what we'll do is then group them together. So once they grouped, so we'll say it's the group info dialog. And then what we will have is the dialog that's all grouped together. So it's easy to hide and display. So what we want to do is go to this close button and we want to initiate a variable that actually hides the, the dialog when it shouldn't appear. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called info dialog. So we'll just say update context because it's related just to this screen. And what we're going to do is blank it out. Okay. And the reason why we're going to do this is whenever you select any of these three info dialogues, we'll have a different set of text there that will display the dialogue and it will show different labels in the info dialogue screen here. So what we will do is on select, we'll blank this out. And what we will do is go to the group here and we'll copy this variable. And we'll say for the visibility property here, um, if it's not blank, it will then be displayed. 
So if we go to, let's say the gallery information icon here, we will update the context. And it's going to be info dialog. And we're going to say the account gallery. So now if we select the info icon here, you can see that we can hide, display and hide it. Okay, really nicely. So what we can do is we could copy this and we could paste it in the beside the owner info icon. And from here, what we could say is it's the based on the owner selection. So we have a different label for there. And for the add button, we'll have the add task dialog here. So at this point, you'll see that when I select any of these, we have the info dialog appearing. Now, all we have to do at this point is display the appropriate text for each of these info icons. So to do that, we'll open one of them up. And what we will do here is we'll expand this and we'll use a switch statement. So we're going to switch on the info dialog variable. And what we will do is say for account gallery, we are going to display this text. So I'll just copy, have my text all ready to go, paste it in here. And for the owner selection, we're going to display a different set of text. So let's go select that on my other screen here and we'll paste it in. And for the add task, we will display the last bit of text here, which is this. And then what we could do is we could always have a default result. Um, so um, not defined or something like that. So it's easy for us to identify where this information icons, like if they haven't been you know, properly set, allows us to easily identify that here. So we'll close that up. And then if we go back to the screen here, you will see that because we are on the add button info icon, new tasks will generate email notifications. If we go to the owner, it will show this message. And for this icon, it will show this message. So this is an easy way for you to create one set of three components to use it in multiple areas just by using variables to define what text should appear.